It is time now for Hey Mary Kay's the video edition, so let's get right to it. Brian asks, uh, Hey Mary Kay, you mentioned that Hugh Jackson won't be on as short of a leash as we think he will be to begin the season, but did Jackson intentionally build a staff of guys that kind of come here with uh, questionable backgrounds, bad stigmas associated with them, like Greg Williams, Todd Haley, Ken Zampezi, basically guys that have been fired before? Wow, now that you put it that way. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that uh, he looked at guys like Todd Haley, Greg Williams, as the guys that have tremendous experience. They've run great defenses, great offenses. We see Todd Haley coming from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they were always in like the top, whatever, five, ten uh, in offense and some great players and, and great schemes over there. Uh, and he was just able to land a guy like this when uh, he got let go by Pittsburgh. As far as Greg Williams, uh, you know, he is a, in a very accomplished defensive coordinator. And same thing with Ken Zampezi. He's got a long track track record of being a really, really good quarterbacks coach, which is what he is here. So I don't think that had anything to do with it. All right, next question. Uh, this person, it's Charles Zobel. He's excited about the Browns defense. However, despite recent additions, they have major question marks in the defensive backfield. Can Demarius Randall and Jabril Peppers successfully transition to safety positions? Who will start at corner? And do you think the Browns will go after Sam Beal in the supplemental draft? A little supplemental draft question. <laughs> Well, funny you should ask all of that. Um, first of all, Jabril Peppers, you know, we've spent a lot of time talking about him this week, and he finds himself in a dogfight at strong safety with Derek Kindred, who Greg Williams just raved about today. So Jabril Peppers has work to do. They think he's going to have a great season, uh, but he's going to have to beat out Derek Kindred for that job. So that is a battle to watch in training camp. Demarius Randall, he should be able to nail down the free safety job, and the starting cornerbacks, I believe, will be Denzel Ward and TJ Carey. As far as Sam Beal is concerned, if it were me, I would go after him the supplemental mental draft. Western Michigan cornerback, supposed to be very good, could be a first round pick. I would throw my hat in the ring. All right, let's go to uh, a couple Twitter questions. Of course, you can always tweet questions at Mary Kay, at Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, hey, Mary Kay, will this new offense with all these new people and a new offensive coordinator work as a unit? Well, I, I think they will. I think they got a head start when Tyrod Taylor gathered a lot of them together to work out in Miami. I think there, some of them will do that again, but I see them coming together already. The key is that they're going to have to be able to play as fast as possible. They're all learning a new terminology, so they must get their noses in the playbook in these next five weeks. Now, one more Twitter question. Uh, this one comes from Leonte Williams. I think Haley and Hugh are speaking directly to John Dorsey when they comment on Baker Mayfield. I hope the Browns don't have another Hoyer Manziel fiasco where John Dorsey wants Baker Mayfield to start week one. Well, you know, I really don't think so. I think they are all on the same page with this. I think that uh, that they all believe that Baker needs time to learn the offense. And I think that John Dorsey is in lockstep with the coaches on that, that he's learning how to play under center. He's learning how to read defenses. He's learning the playbook once again. So I don't think this is a situation where there will be a rift between the two. All right, if you have questions for Mary Kay Cabot, uh, she answers them every week in print here on this video as well. Head over to cleveland.com slash browns. There's a box over on the right side. You can submit those questions there.